in Europe right now, there's a movement of, of refugees from all over the place, I mean, mainly from Syria, and then some of them are coming from uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan and other places, and uh, they all have hope for a brighter future in another country. They are tired of conflict, they are tired of being in uh, war zones, tired of feeling that they cannot build the future where they are from. We left because there is war in Syria, you know? And the war not stopping in Syria. And every day it's coming so bad. There is no water, there is no electric. And our house, the old house, it's in the ground right now. And I bring my brother, he wants friend, because in Syria right now, he cannot find any friend, you know? Because no one can go outside his house. His, all his dream, it's looking for a normal life, not more than that. We don't want to die because we have a future, we have, we have a dream. As, as nations are closing borders and, and enforcing stricter controls, uh, people are just really not sure what's next. They're running out of money. You have uh, families with three or four kids. They talk about wanting something better for their children. It's never, you never hear them talking about wanting something better for themselves. It's always, you know, we want better for our children. We want our children to be able to, to live in peace. We want our children to be able to go to school. Uh, incredibly easy to relate to them because they're not that different from, from the way I live. And these are families who, who want to live in peace and haven't had that opportunity in a very long time. I want them to study. I want them to be better than me. Help us. Try to help us, because we are human. Uh, we come to save our lives. There is a war in my country. There is a war in my hometown. People die every day. So we are saving our lives. Hopefully, we want to get a decent life, like before. We had houses, we had money, we had all that. But now it's not safe in, in my country. If it was safe, I wouldn't come here. Where is home? Where are my families? I don't know. Here in Zagreb, we are loading a truck with bags of food and bottles of water. And uh, right now, uh, Samaritan's Purse is, is here, and we are joining the churches here in Croatia to stand in the gap at this moment. God bless you. Yes, merci. We're here on the border of Slovenia and Croatia. It's been raining, it's getting a bit cooler, and so today we want to hand out uh, dry clothes for, for women, for children and men, and we have socks, we have T-shirts, and we have bags of food as well, and so we just want to make sure that they are warm and dry for their upcoming journey here. From the moment they get off the boat in Greece uh, till the moment they would reach their destination in Germany, Samaritan's Purse has setups in five different countries here along the way, meeting the needs of the people where they are. As Christians, we are we're called to, to help them directly now, you know, with immediate needs. So what we can do is we can love those that we can encounter, and whether that's uh, giving food or whether it's sitting down and listening to their story and equipping them with what little we can for their journey. And whether that's a bit of hope, uh, whether it's a prayer, whether that's a, a backpack, whether it's food and water, God calls us to do that no matter if it's one person, if it's 50 people, or if it's you know, 10,000 people.